I think it, it's, uh, it's keeping the, the Jeep requirements. I mean, from the beginning, we knew it had to have the right departure angles. You know, with the bed, of course, it's a challenge. Uh, but we found the perfect balance of proportion and capability. At the same time, utility. I think it's going to be an adventurer, somebody who, who loves to go outdoors. And, and, you know, we're finding the young generation wants to do more than just have a job. They really want to go play and enjoy life. And this will take you much deeper into, into the woods or into, into a different lifestyle. And the fact that it's flexible, it can be a convertible, it can be a, a hunting car, it can be an adventure mobile, uh, it can be a, a regular everyday uh, vehicle to go to work. I love this silhouette. I think it's, it's a unique silhouette with the windshield from the, the Wrangler, which is very, very recognizable. But at the same time, the personality comes, it works. I mean, the, the pickup truck look fits perfectly with the dynamic uh, of, of the vehicle. The Wrangler team is obviously very, very proud of, of the new Wrangler and the new Gladiator. Uh, you have to understand, we, we only touch this vehicle every 10 years or so is when we really touch it. In the case of the truck, it's been a few decades. Uh, so we take it very seriously. It's also a bit intimidating because we, we know that the fan base, the people that love the Wranglers really love them so much that they watch what we're doing. So we have to be very careful to, to do it properly, uh, modernize the vehicle without sacrificing the utility, and at the same time offering something new uh, and also make it easier. Well, Mark Allen, he's the head of the Jeep Studio, and what he does is every year he takes his team to Moab. It's an amazing event, a Moab Jeep Safari in April, and they actually walk amongst the owners, and they really pick up a lot of ideas from them. We've been doing this for years and years, almost 16 uh, plus years, we've been uh, walking in the footsteps of our owners and listening very carefully. They don't realize we're taking notes, but we are. We're listening very carefully to what they're doing. At the same time, paying attention to the blogs, the internets, the Jeep club. Uh, and it's not just that one time of year, it's all year round. So all of that information has been being gathered for many, many years. And much of that is now in the vehicles that we make today. That people uh, understand it. They really uh, they like the way it, it feels and looks. They like the fact that it comes in so many versions already, right out of the box. It will come uh, ready for many different types of lifestyles. Uh, and they just mostly a lot of uh, what took you so long. <laughs> a lot of comments like that, but but I think uh, that means it, it should do pretty good in the market. So one of the things we did uh, about almost five years ago, we combined, we actually uh, put our Mopar designers with our normal Jeep designers, so they, they live in the same studios. Uh, so at the beginning of this program, we had the Mopar uh, aftermarket components being designed at the same time. The beauty of it now, the vehicle launches right away with a catalog full of uh, Mopars. Mopar parts, as you can see on the vehicle behind me. All of those were designed in our studios, so they look and belong perfectly to, to the new Gladiator. I love the new orange, it's, it's amazing. Uh, this one is pretty cool, the anvil behind me, but uh, there's a lot of fun colors. It's a vehicle we have a lot of fun with.